Eric Haas was telling us how special it was to be able to be called to the majors now and have his family come and watch him play because last year during COVID, they had to sit home and watch on TV. And his mom, Lori, is here with me. And Lori, I know you're here. Tell us who was with you this afternoon as you got an opportunity to watch Eric play in the big leagues here as a Tiger. His sister, Danielle, her husband, Drew, my mom, so Eric's granny, and Eric's wife, Maria. And how special is it for you guys to be able to be here this afternoon and, and have this opportunity? Oh, you have no idea. Growing up, bringing them here, it's it's fantastic. Seeing that Tiger uniform is, uh, there's, it's, I'm speechless. <laughs> you told me a story about when he was young and you brought him to the ballpark and he was looking for a couple of autographs. Tell our viewers about that story. Uh, yeah, when Alan Trammell was the manager, so I brought him to a game. He stood down there all day, uh, most of the game, and nobody would come over and sign his autograph. Alan Trammell saw him there, had one of the ushers bring Eric over there, signed a ball for him, and he still has that ball and cherishes it like, it's, yeah, it's awesome. So he obviously knows how meaningful that is to a young player, and uh, obviously he's in the situation now to put some smiles on some faces, putting a smile on your face here today. But how did he get to the ballpark here today? Tell me that story. <laughs> he's going to kill me for this. His truck is still in Toledo because he got pulled out of the game in Indianapolis, so they flew him here. So mom had to drive him to the ballpark this morning, and we're driving here, and I said, the last time you and I came this way is when you were like 12 or 13, coming to a game ourselves. And he's like, mom, I know, isn't this awesome? <laughs> so he's gonna kill me. <laughs> he's already come through for the team. He's got a double, a run scored, and added a single so far. Uh, just the afternoon, be able to be here and see him do that. And uh, we got your reactions to that. Everybody's obviously excited. How much does that mean to share that moment oh, today? Fantastic. My phone's been blowing up, their phones are blowing up, and it's just, like I said, I'm just speechless. It's almost surreal. Now, uh, A.J. Hinch was talking about how well Eric had hit in the minors. They want to give him an opportunity to display that here at the major league level. Uh, just the grind that it is to get to this level and to produce and, and the pressure that's on you. From a mom's point of view, just speak to that and what you've seen him go through. I'm more nervous than he is. He's been playing since he was four. So this morning I said, are you nervous? He's like, no, got a great bunch of guys and they've accepted me and, and they're just great to work with. So that's what he thinks of, you know, it's like, so it's, it's pretty great. So just as far as getting back to some normalcy, being able to come to the ballpark, what does that mean to, you, to yourselves and the rest of the fans that you see around here and, and the sun shining today? It's obviously a very nice day. From that standpoint, what does this day mean? Oh, it's, it's awesome. It's bright and sunny. You can't ask for a better day. He's playing great. Yeah. Proud mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, obviously, but looking back to his days at Divine Child, obviously you saw something special in him oh, then. Yeah. What was it that you saw special in him at that time? Um, just his dedication and his work ethic is like no other. I wish I had an ounce of that. You know, it's just, he deserves it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We appreciate your time here today. We want to let you enjoy the game, but thanks for sharing those stories with us. And uh, tell Erica, uh, we're glad to have him here and have the family here as well. It's special for everybody. Thank, Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>